sisters and brothers, wherever you are, whatever time of day it happens to be, be welcome. Blessed be the kingdom of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace and hope to all people. Heavenly Father, may your name be glorified. May your kingdom be established. Holy, holy, holy are you, loving God. Heaven and earth are full of your great glory. Glory to you, O Lord. Hear this, O Israel. Our God is sovereign and singular. We shall love our God with our whole heart, mind, soul, and strength. Our God alone shall we serve. Hear this, O Israel. We shall love our neighbors as ourselves. On these two great commandments hang all the law and the prophets. O God, who shall dwell in your house? Who shall rest on your holy mountain? In purity of heart, let us stand before your altar, O Lord. Lord, who shall dwell in your house, who shall rest upon your holy mountain? Those who walk without spot, acting in righteousness. Those who speak truth in their hearts and place no deceit on their tongue. In purity of heart, let us stand before your altar, O Lord. Those who do no evil to their neighbor, and accept no bribes against the innocent, those who reject evil as worthless, but honor those who fear the Lord. In purity of heart, let us stand before your altar, O Lord, those who are faithful and just to their companions, and do not lend their money for gain, those who accept no bribe against the innocent, those who do these things are just, and nothing can ever disturb them. In purity of heart, let us stand before your altar, O Lord. O God, who shall dwell in your house, who shall rest on your holy mountain. How beautiful and glorious is your house, O God. In purity of heart, let us stand before your altar, O Lord. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Most high and glorious God, at this the beginning of the church year, the season of Advent, may we be aware of your life, of your love, of your continuing work in the universe. Help us to do our part to bring about justice and peace. We ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Remember that when we gather, we do so with the whole church. Heaven and earth are joined in prayer. In peace, let us pray to God. We praise you and we thank you, O Lord our God and Savior, giver of all. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord, to make our prayer to you. You've promised that when two or three gather in your name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O God, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come everlasting life. For you are a good God and love humanity, and to you we ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us lift up our voices and give glory to our God, the Eternal Shepherd. Kadisha Allah, Kadisha Kaelatana, Kadisha Lamayutah, Ethrahe Male, Aihos Otehos, Aihos Iskiros. Ai ho satanatos, eleison imas, sanctus deus, sanctus fortis, sanctus immortalis, miserere nobis. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. 
Holy God, Holy and Mighty One, Holy Immortal One, have mercy on us. Holy Glorious God, have mercy upon us always according to your promise. Amen. Let us listen with our hearts to God's holy word. May the Holy Spirit teach us and guide us. Amen. A reading from the book of Isaiah. The word that Isaiah, son of Amoz, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of all the mountains and shall be raised above the hills. All the nations shall stream to it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations. He shall arbitrate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn the war any more. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. You know what time it is, how it is now the moment for you to wake from sleep. For salvation is nearer to us now than when we became believers. The night is far gone, the day is near. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in the day, not reveling and drunkenness, not in debauchery and licentiousness, not in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires. The word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Maranatha, come, O Christ the Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, About that day and hour no one knows, neither the angels of heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. For as the days of Noah were, so will be the coming of the Son of Man. For as in those days before the flood they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing until the flood came and swept them all away, so too will be the coming of the Son of Man. Then two will be in the field, one will be taken, and one will be left. Two women will be grinding meal together, one will be taken, one will be left. Keep awake, therefore, for you do not know on what day your Lord is coming. But understand this, if the owner of a house had known in what part of the night the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and would not have let his house be broken into. Therefore, you also must be ready, for the Son of Man is coming at an unexpected hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today, we begin the season of the year of the new church year called Advent. The Byzantines refer to it as the Little Lent. And it's a time when the entire world, the Northern Hemisphere, is darkening. For the entire ancient world, for the, for the Hebrews, for the Romans, for the Greeks, all the way up into England, all the way up into Germany, this is the time when darkness begins to swallow up the world. So it's a very good time for us to become contemplative and to think about what is to come. And it's a little funny because we have over the years made Christmas into such a birthday party for Jesus. We talk about the birth of Jesus all the time. 
And we forget that what the church talks about in this time of year is really the second coming of the Lord. We wait in joyful hope. We say in Aramaic, Maranatha, come Lord, come quickly. We need you. That's the prayer of our heart calling out to Christ. And it doesn't take much for us to understand that. We look around our world today, we see poverty and injustice. We see wars. We see orphans and widows. We see people torn apart from their families, thrust into darkness in the cold. And we cry, Maranatha, come quickly, Lord. But we can't just cry out and expect God to fix it all for us. God's given us what we need to fix it. And we as fallible human beings don't do it. What do you mean? I mean the same thing that I say over and over and over again. If we merely did what Christ asked us to do, we would currently be living in paradise. Love God with your whole heart, mind, and spirit. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love one another as I have loved you. Love is an action word. It's a verb of doing. To love somebody isn't just to sit there and go, Oh, I love somebody. Cutesy. Makes a hallmark minute. But love, which comes deeply from inside of us, wants the best for that other person. And if we love everyone, which God asks us to do, then we can't leave somebody out. We can't go, oh, they don't speak the same language. I don't like them. Oh, they're not the same color as I am. I, I, I don't like that. Oh, they're dirty. They smell bad. I, 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 I can't be a part. If God can love them, so can you. And we know in the orthodox understanding of God's love that God would take Satan back in an instant if Satan asked. That there is no one who is irredeemable. For God created all things and found them good. Yeah, we screw it up. We fallible human beings. Even the angels screwed it up. Lucifer, the light giver, the bright one, screwed it up the most. Would God take him back? Yes. Would God take us back? Yes. Can we make that same space for others who need our help? Yes. Please, God, in this wonderful contemplative season of darkness, of Advent, let us indeed see your face in the poor. Let us stand well in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace from on high, for the salvation of our souls, for the well-being of all the holy churches of God, for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For myself, your unworthy servant, for all of the bishops, for the venerable priesthood, for the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For peace throughout the world, for our civil authorities, and for all in service of our country, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this city and for every city and countryside, for those living in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who travel by sea, air, and land, and in space, for the sick, the suffering, the captives, and for their safety and salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Protect us, save us, have mercy on us and preserve us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. 
remembering our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Christatokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Together, let us entrust our souls to God. We ask you, Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that your grace be with us, forgive our sins, and protect us. Let us bow our heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant, O God, that we may please you by our good works all the days of our lives. By the help of your grace, may we always be worthy and eager to offer you glory, honor, and thanksgiving, O Lord of all, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, one God now and forever through the ages of ages. Amen. Let us honor the Lord our God with our substance and with the first fruits of our labor, that our barns may be filled with plenty and our presses overflow with wine. Do not neglect widows and orphans, strangers, prisoners, and the homeless. Remember the sick and the suffering. Amen, amen, amen. Blessed are you, O God of all, for you have given us this living bread, fruit of the earth and work of our hands. Let it become life-giving bread. Bless the lives of those who offer it and those for whom we pray. To further a faith full of the Holy Spirit, water is mixed with the wine and the wine with the water. So let these two become one in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, O God of all, for you have given us this wine, fruit of the vine and work of our hands, let it become our spiritual drink. The very mystery of the blood which flowed from the side of your beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. O God, Holy, Mighty One, who accepts the sacrifice of praise from your people, accept the prayers we are about to offer for our sake and for all of creation, Grant us the grace to be a living sacrifice acceptable to you. We ask this in the name of Jesus, now and forever. Amen. The noble Joseph took down your most pure body from the cross, wrapped it in a clean shroud, and with fragrant spices laid it in burial in the new tomb. us with favor, O God, that the walls of a new and everlasting Jerusalem may be built up, where there will be justice and peace. The Lamb and the Lion will lie down together. May the Lord wash away our sins with the hyssop of love. May God cleanse us and heal us in the great ocean of mercy and love. Let us love one another, that with one mind we may confess. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity, one in essence and undivided. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made being one with the Father. Through him all things were made. 
for us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Let us now confess our sins and failings with clear minds and hearts and humble spirits. With eyes downward and hands and hearts raised, let us ask God's mercy and let us forgive one another. Forgive us, O God. Let us rid ourselves of strife and divisions, hatred and hostility. Forgive us, O God. Let us receive this sacrament and be sanctified by the Holy Spirit. Forgive us, O God. Let this Holy Communion be for our resurrection and eternal salvation, and for the reconciliation of all creation, and for a everlasting life. Amen. May the living God forgive us all our sins and make us worthy to celebrate these holy mysteries so that we may stand as we do now before our God on that last day. May the grace and love and fellowship of the living God be with us now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Christ is among us. He is and ever shall be. The peace of the Lord be with you always and also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right always and everywhere to give God praise. Lord God, what we have heard, yes. What our mothers and fathers have told to us is true and we will join with them to proclaim your glorious deeds. What our mothers and fathers declare to us, we too will declare. Throughout times, you opened the doors of heaven to rain manna upon your human children, food for the journey. We will declare the glorious deeds of the Lord. Not just once in the desert, when your people groaned that they had left behind the riches of Egypt. We will declare to generations the wonders of the Lord. Not just when the new church struggled without the physical presence of Jesus, nor just again when the persecutions made martyrs and confessors of your sons and daughters. We pledge ourselves to live to the full life of discipleship. Each time to your people you provided nourishment, manna fallen from the sky, the spirit thundering in the upper room, the witness of Paul, a prisoner in Christ, and Jesus your own, your beloved and our beloved. So therefore, with all the cloud of witnesses, our faithful ancestors, with the angels and saints and this company, we raise our song of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Father, the people of Jesus' time asked him, What can we do to accomplish the works of God? It is our question as well. We've heard the answer, Father. We must come to Jesus Christ in order to never be hungry and believe in him to never thirst. Jesus is with us today in the assembly of this household of faith. We call ourselves Christians. We've taken that name to ourselves in faithfulness and in hope. God brought us to this holy place. We do today what has been commanded. He said on the night before he died, Take, eat, this is my body which is given up for you. At the end of the meal he took the cup, gave it to his disciples and said, Take and drink, this is the cup of my blood given for you. 
he gave us bread from heaven to eat. It is your church's desire, Father, to become in fact the body of Christ, and not just the body, but to grow to the full stature of Christ. So we beg you, Father, to make us strong, loving, and wise. Gift us with humility, gentleness, and patience. Father, send your Spirit upon us, one and all, now and evermore. Make us and these gifts of wine and bread, which will nourish us into the body and blood of your own Jesus, our Savior. Inspire all our leaders, especially myself, your unworthy servant, and all who serve this community. Christ is the bread of our life. Strengthen the bones, tissues, and spirits of all the members of this household, that they may rightfully claim the inheritance promised and gained by Christ's death and resurrection. Whoever eats and drinks at this table will never be hungry. We remember those who are infirm, those who are unable to be with us for whatever reason. We pray for those whose faith is moving toward maturity. Knit all of us together, Father. Make of us one in the unity of the Spirit the bond of peace. Whoever believes will never be thirsty. We give you our lives, for we want to be like the first apostles, to be prisoners in Christ. It is through him, Father, that we give these gifts. Amen. bread we break. Is it not fellowship in the body of Christ? The cup we share. Is it not fellowship in the blood of Christ? We who eat this bread and drink this cup shall have life everlasting. God shall raise us up on the last day. The table is furnished. The wine is poured. Let us flee from ignorance, and let us proclaim this unique and powerful mystery. The Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Root of Jesse, the Son of David, has prevailed. Here are God's gifts for God's people. Remember that Christ has died for us. Feed on him faithfully. Partake of this heavenly food and drink with hearts filled with thanks and praise. O Christ, we are unworthy of your calling, yet in faith we share this sacred banquet. Help us always to walk in your way. Broken and distributed is the Lamb of God, broken but not divided, ever eaten but never consumed, but sanctifying those who partake of this heavenly food. I believe, O Lord, and I confess that you are truly the Christ, the Son of the living God, who came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Accept me, O Son of God, as a partaker of your mystical supper. I will not reveal your mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as did Judas. But like the thief will I confess, remember me, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. May the partaking of these holy mysteries, O Lord, be not for judgment or condemnation, but for the healing of soul and body. I believe, O oh Lord, and I confess that this is truly your most precious body, that this is truly your life-giving blood. Make me worthy to share these holy mysteries for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace.
Save your people, O God, and bless your inheritance. We have seen the true light. We have received the heavenly spirit. We have found the true faith. And we worship the undivided Trinity, for the Trinity has saved us. God has filled us with the spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ, our Lord. He's called us to share his kingdom without beginning or end. We have feasted on God's word in this holy banquet. Made bold, let us make known our prayers and petitions. For justice and peace throughout the world, we pray. For the sick, we pray. For the homeless and the destitute, we pray. For widows, orphans, and the displaced, we pray. For our families and friends, we pray. For ourselves, we pray. For those who have gone before us marked with a sign of faith, we pray. For all those prayers held in our hearts, known to God alone, we pray. All these prayers we make in the name of Jesus Christ, who lives now and forever. For you are our sanctification, O God, and we glorify you now and forever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. May Christ, our true God, risen from the dead, through the prayers of his most holy mother, and of all the holy, glorious, and illustrious apostles, the holy, righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of St. Thomas, the Apostle to India. And of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is gracious and full of our love. May this worship bear fruit in our lives. May God be praised in our words and deeds. May we walk with God and be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace to serve God in friend and foe, in neighbor and in stranger. In the name of the Lord. Glory to you, O Christ our God. Glory to you.